Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Medieval Kingdoms for Total War Attila. We're playing as England. This is episode 5. In today's episode, we're going to be declaring war upon Scotland, pushing north and hopefully dealing with the Norwegians. We currently have the king and the full stack here. A lot of English footly knights. These guys are very, very good. We've also got some longbow militia, mounted sergeants, and we've got some bastion catapults. We managed to destroy the kingdom of Nottingham and York in the last couple of episodes. We still have two territories down in France that we need to hold. I have a spy pushing over to have a look at Paris because the French and the Holy Roman Empire joined as one. So guys, if you still are enjoying this Medieval Kingdoms campaign, we're playing as England of course, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe if you're new around here. So we're going to be pushing against Scotland here today. We're going to be pushing upon Bambra. We should be able to take it quite easily. And I think we're going to go with an auto resolve. We're coming up against three units of spear militia, three crossbowmen compared to my entire army. Um, I could get some siege equipment, but I have a feeling the Scottish at least have half a sack at Scone somewhere. So we're probably better off hitting Bambra. It's their strongest territory. That's their capital, though. We still have to deal with the Norwegians to the north. Let's go with an auto resolve and see how we go. We might... Oh, will we lose an entirety of a unit, though? No, nah, probably not. I think we should be fine. The odds seem pretty much in our favor anyway. And we've been playing a lot of battles recently against, like, York and, and Nottingham. No, we didn't lose the entire an entire unit, which is great. We lost 384 in a siege. Not bad. Now we've taken Bambra. Okay, cool. Let's repair now. Break down that. I want the cloth. Siege Engineer. Don't particularly need that, though. Right, pushing down south, we have Prince Ekthrith recruiting some units in Winchester. I want to send these units over the channel, send them over to France, because at the moment we're currently at war with the Kingdom of Scotland, Norway. But I want to betray Brittany. Now, the Duchy of Aquitaine, it's a little bit hard to see because they have the same logo, but the Duchy of Aquitaine on the west coast of France is pushing into their lands quite significantly. As you can see, they've taken these two settlements here. Maybe I should push in and try and help Aquitaine tr take these lands from Brittany. Because I don't want a huge war with Aquitaine. That'd be fucked. I want to focus on some of the major factions. I want to go to war with the Holy Roman Empire at some point. Not just yet, though. I want to unify the entirety of the modern-day United Kingdom and Ireland. Okay. Technology-wise, what are we going with now? We want to go with the Tribunal to help with our anti-corruption and stuff. Trade rights, and who likes me? Brittany likes me. They don't want trade. They don't want to give me a payment, do they? Low. Do the Spanish want to give me a payment? No. How about Milan? Low. Doesn't look like many people want to give me uh, money this time around. Now, we do have a bit of a succession crisis on our hands. King Offa has five children. He has a son, Prince Ekthrith, who is the heir. Now, unfortunately, he has two bastard daughters. He hasn't actually had a child with his wife. Now, the king has four daughters. One's married to Cohen Red, one's married to Wiglaf. I'm going to have to marry off the other two later. Now, the line of succession, this is how I do it. First is a, is a natural-born son, a, not a bastard, a son. Then goes the bastard son, then goes a legitimate daughter, and then we've got a, a bastard daughter. So, these bastard daughters are at the lowest of the pack, in my opinion. Um, Offer's daughters are going to come before Ekthris' bastard daughters, even though he's the heir. We might even need to knock them off to make some room for some sons because I don't want bastard daughters. We've got enough daughters in this family tree. But well, I don't even know what's going on in the royal court. Why isn't anyone fucking? Why, why, why haven't we got any children? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Let's end the turn and continue. Wiglaf has gone up in skills. What can we do here with him? Uh, we want to go down to legend, of course, as quickly as possible. But he's a governor, so let's go with the food stuff for the time being. So we've nearly got these units at Winchester. I think we'll, we might even invade Europe in today's episode. We might have our European debut. 
as you might say. My ship that was getting trade and commerce around the Mediterranean went to the bottom half of Iberia all the way to the Byzantines in the bottom half of Italy and Croatia. They're heading home. So the Norwegians want peace. How much will you give me for said peace? Not even 600. You can fuck right off out of my kingdom. Mission succeeded. Become the Kingdom of England. Now... Obviously, this mod is still in very early days of development. They're going to have to patch a lot of stuff because technically it is a reskin for Mercia. But um, we still get to play Medieval Kingdoms, Medieval 1212 AD assets in this. Alright, what's going on here? So yeah, there's going to be a little couple of bugs, but I, I've done the first five episodes here now. Smooth sailing. Haven't had a crash Everything seems to be perfect at the moment. So yeah, I highly recommend you go download this mod and play it for yourself. Form your own opinion. So, we've got a couple of spare slots here by the looks of it. We can upgrade Math Raphael. But I don't think we've even done with York yet. So probably build a... Oh, I don't know if we even need a chapel. We've already got a 2-1 here. We're going to have to convert Bamber because I want it to be a royal court. So there's no harm. We we can't go for the tribunal just yet. Um, what resources do we have in each? Like we don't have a we don't have a um a lead mine that we're gonna need to make. Do we even are we even like yeah, we're excavating iron there at Lynchfield? We're not getting lumber, which we probably should be. At Lincoln, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down the thing at Chester. I'm going to break down this because I think having a forge is actually a pretty good idea. Um, so we'll make another forge at Chester, but then we'll get the lumber because we want to start trading our resources. At Math Um we'll expand that, of course. We can get dye here. So what I want to do is we've got a tier two. We're going to have to break down that farm, unfortunately, I think. I would build another farm here, but we're going to need to get food from here because I don't want to lose our food. Because you only can build certain buildings and certain stuff. We can get growth here. Yeah, nothing really helps us with food. Because I don't want to break down one of these priories just so we can do it. To be fair, we might have to, to be honest. To get the food. So I'm going to have to do it. Um, at the moment here... Oh, we've already got the food markets. So that's not actually too bad. That's what... Oh, foolish me. <laughs> it's already been built there. Let's get the mint then, I think. And then we'll deal with converting this later, I think. We're going to have to wait before we push into Scotland because it is winter. I think this is a big enough army if we were to go to war with Brittany. We should be alright. Uh, we're making 500 per... T we're making 1,500... Per turn. Should we get some catapults over? Sure, why not? Let's end the turn. We're going to need to start having a bigger military presence because I don't trust the Holy Roman Empire whatsoever. The French join them. Which, um, yeah, I, I wanted to fight the French. Um, but unfortunately, the Holy Roman Empire and them combined. Check out the snow on the side here. That looks fantastic. Right, one of your subjects, uh, da, 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 da. no, intervene. I do not want to do that. War with the Emirates of Zaragoza and the Crown of Aragon. By the looks of it, the Holy Roman Empire doesn't actually have that much of a offensive here in Brit in um, France, the French border. We have 4,000 in the bank because we just started breaking shit down. I do want to save that 3,000 to convert Bambra because that is a pretty key settlement up in the north. I wouldn't mind some better cavalry to come over, maybe these English nobles. But we really need to get ready to head over because... Or what else can we get? We can get... We can get that and then... Hmm. 
Are we better off getting a unit of them and another catapult? I think we are. And we'll send them over. We can have this army ready to push against Brittany if Aquitaine continues to push up. But there's 11 units there. If they were in here, it would have been fine, but they're in here. Okay, let's move to Scone. Looks like the Norwegians have a full stack. Nearly ready to push against the Scottish capital. Let's slowly but surely move up in increments. And it looks like we're going to be able to take Sc Scone quite easily. And we have one down, one to go. Let's occupy Scone. Let's repair where we can. Uh, let's pray at the hostel. Alright, cool. We're doing well. We have a massive kingdom at the moment. Right. Um, where should I move my spy? I want to kind of see the Swiss cantons if we can. Who likes me the most? Brittany. Someone else, because I want to try and get some more trade if I can. Do we have... Yeah. There's no point in really going into diplomacy at the moment. Well, look who it is. <laughs> My navy is nearly in the English Channel. Which is great to see. Okay, food shortage Pickland. Let's move you to London. And we need to move you over the channel. Okay, so the Norwegians look like they're just sitting out there. We might have a battle against the Norwegians in Scotland. That'll be quite cool. Alright, where can we put this money real quick? Um, Maybe a mine, but that increases the squalor. We needed to make that lead mine, didn't we? It's going to cost 2000 for the lead mine. And then we need the woodcutter there. That'll get us timber. We just need to save up to get those resources. Cause then, we, then we can start flogging them off. We're currently making 1500 from trade, and we're only producing cloth and lead. We can be, produce, we can be producing lead and timber. You can't actually trade copper. Even though we're making it. Okay. So should we just hit the Norwegians here now? We're at full strength. Let's do a quick save. Yeah, let's fight the Norwegians. I'm going to be curious to see what type of units they have. They've fled. So we can push into the settlement. And no knock out Scotland. Or we can push them for a field battle. Hmm. Are we better off trying to take Scot? Are we better off taking Scotland out so we can get replenishments and have a footholding here? Or are we better off just to push against them? No, let's push into Scotland. Let's hit them. Oh wow, they've sacked it though. So it's just we just waltzed in. Fair enough. Let's repair. We can't really much. Yeah, we can't really anywhere else. But now if they attack me, we get what? <laughs> a depleted garrison because we haven't repaired the main building just yet and we can't let's end the turn to continue let's see what the Norwegians do my spy is pushing further into the Holy Roman Empire lands yeah I really wish there was sort of like a French resistance like surely everyone wouldn't have been on board for the Holy Roman Empire occupation because I wanted to see what the French had okay my fleet is nearly home in London. The prince is going to be sending over some troops. Let's rally up. Not with the prince. I want the prince to head back to England as quickly as possible. You're a lot safer over the channel, my friend. Okay, we've expanded here. What else can we get? Um... Yeah, no, I don't even know, really. I sort of need to take the other territories. Right, so it looks like Brittany went for them. There was a battle, because that's been scarred a bit. Oh, maybe we should betray Brittany now. 11 units. 14 in there. 
We're going to actually need to recruit some more archers that I want. And there's no harm in getting some more spear militia here. We might as well just get an army ready. Right, where are those bastard Norwegians gone? Okay. Alright, cool. So here are the Norwegians army. Um, they are technically reskinned as Sweden. Um, because they haven't done Norway just yet. But look at these. There's some pretty cool units here. Axemen, Herdmen. These guys look very, very cool. We're going to have a decent battle against them. Right. I think we should push against the Norwegians. Let's hit them. They're running. Cowards. Let's fight them here today. Who are we fighting against? What's his name? Honest. Honest. Okay. So we're coming up against three Viking... Three... Sorry, two... Yeah, three... Yeah. Three Norwegian spearmen, one unit of herdmen, which are very depleted. We've got four axemen, three crossbowmen, and then they have their ballista. We have infantry superiority. They do outnumber me with skirmishers. However, the English longbowmen, one unit is pretty much worth four of them, if I'm being honest. Four units of cavalry and ballista. We're going to be able to smash them here today, I reckon. We'll lose a very, very small casualties. Now, first battle... Against the Kingdom of Norway. Okay, so we're in the grassland. They're clear. We're fighting in the north of Scotland. We still have to deal with their northern territory. Uh, I want to go with a clear day if we can. There we are. Nice and dry. Why not? So let's hit the Norwegians. Hit them hard. So here are the uh, the Norwegian army. Technically reskinned as... Oh, whoops. As Sverdan. Which will be updated eventually, but still very cool. Still very cool units at the back here as well. Okay, so here's my host. The English. Ready to rumble. I love the General's Bodyguard. I can't wait to actually recruit these guys as a, as a unit, which I'm assuming I can at some point. Check out these hard motherfuckers. <laughs> right. Make a line. Archers go with a heavy shot. I might even just fall them here and then put the other guys behind them because we want to just basically sit back, relax, let my artillery and skirmisher superiority just rain fire and death upon them and then that's gonna make them charge they're pretty fucked if I do say so myself alright cool let's leave it at that push the catapults up a tad bit though Oh, why can't I move them? Are they stuck in place? Oh, they are too. Which is fine. Just need to move my archers up a bit then. Are they going to try and charge me? We even have like a slight high ground advantage. Come on, leave none alive. Oh, God. Shields high, brave Norwegians. For Ragnar Luthbrook, the year old Viking. They're very brave pushing up there. Let's see how just detrimental this flame shot is. Oh, it's just fallen short, but it's knocked out a couple. That is bad for them. Okay, cavalry. Let's get on the flanks. Let's get them. We need to deal with their units at the back, actually. Alright, slow things down a little bit. We're going to have to move my infantry up above the catapults and the archers. Alright, let's swing around and try and kill their general. And then we need to deal with them. Archers, take aim. Loose. Let's swing around. Oh, it looks like the general is just fleeing, though. That's quite funny, that is. 
push down and kill the general. We should be able to do it with these two guys. We can leave everyone else to do hammer and anvil strikes against their archers. Let's go with the counter charge. I want to get the charge here. Here we go. Archers are being a little bit too... They, they did not just break then. <laughs> they didn't, but they were close to. Let's get my cavalry. Oh, okay. We're going to have to halt these guys for the time being. And my archers. We're going to lose way too much. Way too many casualties from friendly fire. We are just carving these guys up here. I love that mountain in the background. How magnificent does that look? In the north of Scotland, the English fight the Norwegians. And they are not doing well whatsoever. It looks like they're just going to buck it. We've even got more units in re as reinforcements here. They didn't have enough units to match my front line. <laughs> For my cavalry out here because they're engaging... They're engaging swordsmen. A very depleted Norwegian army fighting the Scots. They never really stood a chance, did they? Here we go. Here's the decapitation. Oh, no, it's not. Just a slice. No, there's one there. <laughs> Check out that guy. He loves his job. <laughs> right. I've taken them out. Let's start speeding things up now. It's turned into a, a pretty much a full-blown rout. We're going to have to knock out the archers, which are a little bit of a pain in the ass to do so. Whoa, swordsman. We've killed the enemy general. We need to run down and kill as many of these guys as possible because, obviously, they're not in a settlement. We're going to have to run them down to kill them. So we want to continue running them down as quickly as possible. So everyone attach onto a unit, even King Offer. Help run these Norwegians down. A good battle. Not the most difficult, but it was cool seeing them trying to charge me <laughs> and then just getting absolutely decimated we lost about a hundred men which I don't even know how much would have been for friendly fire because we did we did actually do a little bit of friendly fire in the end right cavalry yeah because they they we got 31 of them it's because they started invade they started um, fighting swordsmen that's what absolutely just wrecked them But I reckon we've knocked out most of them. Five left. Okay, let's end it there. A decisive victory for the English. We deployed 1,938 and lost 104 upon the battlefield. The Norwegians deployed 1,384 and lost 2,268. Only two units survived and we killed their general. Let's kill them because we want to keep up our chevrons but they did manage to escape which is a pain in the ass we should be able to run them down and we are go with an aggressive and just try and run them down straight through the back of the neck <laughs> all right cool now we need to push against their northernmost region. Can we go with a forced march? We can, but it doesn't even really increase it that much. There's no harm in doing it though. Can we push through the lock? Oh, no, it's quicker going through this way because that's where uh, Loch Ness and uh, Loch Lochie is. This looks really cool. I love the look of that. Been to Loch Ness. Really beautiful place. Uh, Scotland. Okay, so what can we do now then? We have 1,000 in the bank. Where can I put that money? I need to put it to repairs, to be honest. Oh, God, that's a lot of stuff, money to repair. Jesus. It's because the, um... I think the Norwegians must have sacked the territory. That's why it's going to cost me a fuck ton. Right. Well. Um, I'm trying to think what I should do. Because I'm nearly ready to push against... 
Brittany. I think we might do that in the next. I think we might attack Brittany. So we still have a thousand. Should I continue to spend it on recruitment? We can't even get any more this turn, even if we wanted to. To be honest, we could actually just march into their lands and levy some of their units. Because <laughs> they are technically a puppet at the moment. Which is quite funny. We need to turn this guy off forced... Um, Forced March, whatever the Forced Sale one is. We need to save up some money. I think I might save this because we need to get these tradable resources and maybe even some more units. We'll continue north to finish off the Norwegians and then we'll have the entirety of the modern day United Kingdom. Except for Northern Ireland, we won't have that, of course. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. It is time to end the video here. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you want to see more of this Medieval Kingdoms campaign. Uh, it's a great way for me to gauge it. So just leaving a like and a comment is just a great way for me to gauge if you want to see more of this particular series. Or maybe you guys want to see more of something else. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching. We're going to continue to retake the modern day United Kingdom. We might start making some plans and efforts and territory in Europe. It's just a shame that the um, the French joined the Holy Roman Empire. I really wanted to fight the French because we could have done that a hell of a lot earlier because now we have to not only fight the French technically, we have to fight the Holy Roman... We're, 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 we're fighting the Holy Roman Empire who has the Holy Roman Empire and the fucking French backing them and they're just huge. They're currently at strength ranking number one. And what are we at? We're second now. Okay, that's not bad. But just compared to... Just look at this, right? Second and third are even. Fourth and three, which is just in our favor. However, look at the dividing massive difference between first and second. It's just nuts. But I have to end it here, guys. Check out my social media links if you haven't already. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are all in the description below. If you want cheap games, go check out my G2A affiliate link. It's a great way for me. It's a great way for you to support me and my channel. So I have to end it here, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Really close cinematic shots here, pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there.